Thank you. About two years ago, I lost my little brother. Golly, take you with me every time. Yeah. There are no millionaires where we come from. But in the jungle build a humble kingdom. Mm -hmm. Silver and gold never buy us soul. We rich and we heart, yes. We rich and we heart. Welcome to another episode here on BRBP TV. Be real, be positive, guys. Right now, we are here at the Jazz and Creole here at the Cabbage National Park, and it's been two years counting, guys. Oh my goodness, two years counting, and we are finally back here at the Cabbage National Park. Of course, there's a number of persons here enjoying the music, enjoying the vibes, enjoying the social activity, which of course was missed there. But of course, we are back again. We're going to take you to what is taking place right now at the Jazz and Creole, and of course, interviewing a number of persons here at this year event of course we have to get through and of course there's a few protocols you have to go through before entering here but we definitely are here and of course we're gonna make it to you here on brb tv video be positive a broken heart don't understand anything i treat these legs for a pair of wings to follow you follow you i'm standing on the ground in a cloud of grief it took it is a liar and it plays a thief Since we've not had that on Creole, how are you liking it? I find the turnout is really good, and uh, the people actually try to stay in touch with the theme for this year's nature. I'll ship, I think, and the outfits look really good. The performances are on point. Right? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. so, as I said before, it's a perfect blend between Creole Festival and Creole in the Park. So, so the, 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 the music in the background and you can communicate, you can real it's a big girl. It's a real interactive kind of process. To be honest, I think the price is right because they have to pay the artists, they have to set up bars. You know, the plywood costs a lot nowadays and I saw they have to build the bars, the lights in, the vendors know they have water and lights and I saw they have portable pipes and stuff. So to be honest, the price is justified. If we didn't want to do bouncy houses, etc. because of COVID, then we could have found other ways to entertain the children because right now you have kids running all over the place, getting lost, etc. Et and you know, as a parent, as an educator, we could have done better. years ago before I started singing yeah. and the memories that this place gave me the warm welcome the energy of this like this place the energy under your feet in this place is something else yeah. and when I heard we were coming back here the point I'm in my life right now I feel like Dominica literally called me to give me some energy yeah so I'm grateful to this island well, it, it's obvious that you left everything on the stage. Yes, sir. Are you satisfied with your performance? Are you satisfied with what you got back from the crowd tonight? Yes, satisfied with what I got back from the crowd. With my performance, hardly ever. I mean, you know how that goes with artists, right? right. I will always be going over in my head. I could have done this better. I did this. 
But you know what? I'm thankful to be one of the people in this world who is able to do what they do for a living and to earn and take care of my family and to inspire people and inspire my people. So even inside of my own criticism of myself, I love this. No matter what people feel, be real, be positive. Every single time is a superpower. Thank you. A history that cannot be moved like trees planted by the river from the Mabu Shade to Baptist State Bridge that connects river streets and every other river. A festival city of history, forever alive in the nature of the you and I, so alive before God and all mankind. And you can't fake that that. It's different when you're born in the Christian sky, 24 7 or 767, as this agony night, consciousness in rhythm and rhyme, consciousness in pillow and jazz, consciousness of the nation. Right. I mean, after two years, we're not coming back. Same vibes, well, not same vibes, better vibes, better height. But you can, you can feel the jazziness, you can feel the vibes. You know Jazz and Creole has a special vibes. Yeah, so you can feel the vibes. Can feel the vibes tonight? Yeah, well, certainly, certainly. You'll come back next year. Ah, for sure. This event, all the years. Well, every year is different. Right. No, no Jazz and Creole is the same. Every year is different. It's not just Jazz and Creole, is it? No. You enjoying yourself tonight? Yes, yeah, yeah, you come back? Uh, yeah. Sure. The Dominicans came out, you know, to impress, and I am very happy to see them, you know, having fun despite, you know, even the COVID-19 in Dominica, they're having fun, and that's what's important. Is this your first Jazz Creole? No, it's not. I've been to everyone so far. Compare this one to other years. And the performance is a little underwhelming this year, but the environment is the same, so I love it. Alright. Will you come back? Yes, I would. No, do you think that in two years that we were off affected Jazz and Creole in any way? No, the two are now always a bit about the same. Granted, in 2019 it was a bit more, but we still have a good amount of turnout this year. Ambassador Michael Henderson here in Boston, I don't be real, be positive to see the headline in Jazz and Creole Music Festival. Michael Henderson, how many times have you headlined this festival? What does it feel like tonight going and represent your, your people again in front of them? Um, I don't remember how many times to be honest, but um, it's always a pleasure, it's always an honor to represent for Dominica and ensure that Domin Dominican people get a, a nice entertainment segment and that they feel like they're well represented, you understand? And as usual, I'm sure you're going to put on a blast for us. Still in performance. I'll do my best. All the best of them, Thank Michael you. Henderson. Thank you.
Actually, uh, I, I don't like to tell people that, but you know, I was born in London. But my parents sent me down to Sufre to Dominica when I was three years old. So I got me gone. I went back to England when I was 18. What can we expect from Mr. Pierre? What can you expect from me? Um, well, you know, I'm hoping to start working with uh, some of the young musicians around. I'm really passionate about music education. Okay, you know. So it's an area I would really like to, to dive into. And work really work with a lot more, you know, a lot of younger musicians. You didn't have enough talent to be oh, yeah. featured in this country. You know, we've always had talent here, but you know, talent without hard work is just that talent, you know. Talent, right. And um, I'd really like to um, somehow get that talent to the next because I've seen a lot of really talented young musicians around. We come from the beautiful island of Saint Lucia. Can we have some love, please? Hello. <laughs> Sing, bro! 
definitely followed the guidelines, they definitely followed the theme and everybody came out to dress for the event and the ambience and it really was lovely to see everybody that you So you feel like as Dominicans we're getting up there in the fashion world? Definitely, we, we've been up there but it's nice to see that everybody is starting to feel that energy on a ladder. Your man does all still in performance, Thank fiery, you. Thank you. hot. What's your first thoughts coming up this stage? Um, it's amazing. I haven't been here for, for forever. The last time I was here, it was Dominican Creole Festival with Kess. Um, but coming back to do something different apart from Soka, what people know me for, it felt like coming back full circle because before that, I used to do what we were doing there. So it felt like being back in my comfort zone. I've been back in my so for, for, for me to be able to come do it in Dominica and the reception of, of, of the crowd was amazing. It feels good. I'm, I'm grateful for the opportunity that they got to see the entire band, the entire vibe, you know? Um, sometimes we travel alone and we don't really get to bring everybody. So this is my full band in this entire Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in essence, tonight was 
you're reconnecting with your old self. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It, right. it, it, was, it was a beautiful feeling. I wouldn't change anything about it. Yes, Some might say it was a very short performance. I personally would have liked to would have liked to have you on stage for a little more. Yeah, well, you know, well, well, they have we, we had them about the time. You understand, but um, there's a back and forth side. You understand, so it was a little much more like um, I would call it intimate kind of vibe. But they got to know, right, got right. to know a little bit more. About. Will you be back for another jazz and Creole? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Right. Anytime, anytime you guys call, Dominica call, I'm gonna be. You'll be there. Yeah. Well, the energy like from the man. I mean, you, 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 uh, you egged on the crowd to participate with you. Beautiful. Beautiful. The connection, the vibe, the energy. I wouldn't change it for the world. Safe to say, we feel like family now. Of course. We love her already. We love her already. Lovely, man. Hey, Tedison John from St. Lucia. Want to big up. Be real. Be positive. TV. Tedison John endorse started.